Hi everyone, Connie Douglas here from Great Stampin' with Connie and today I have a walkthrough of one of the suites in the new annual catalog. This suite is called uh, Forever Greenery. It's found in the catalog on pages 108 and 109 and 110 and it is stunning. I I fell in love with this one as soon as I saw it. There's so many beautiful products in the suite. So let's get started and I'm going to show you some of them. Okay, so we will start with the stamp set. It is part of a bundle. It's called Forever Fern and it's got some wonderful greenery uh, images along with some lovely sentiments. So this is a, a great set. It's not really masculine or feminine, so it's great for making any kind of card that you want. It comes with a, a die set as part of the bundle, and that gives you all sorts of leaves, ferns, uh, different things to cut out. Some of them coordinate with stamps in the stamp set, and some of them are just... Uh, images that you can cut out and add to your cards for embellishing or texture, or whatever you like. Okay, the colors in the suite, they pulled out almost all the stops on the greens with the colors. So, uh, I have cut, this is one of the leaf dies, and I've cut the different colors. There's soft sea foam, pear pizzazz, just jade, which is one of the new in colors. Um, Uh, sorry, Garden Green, Shaded Spruce, and Pretty Peacock. So there's uh, six different greens that they combine throughout the suite in the uh, designer series papers, and uh, you can use all your different colors on your stamping as well. There is also an embossing folder, and you get two embossing folders. They're smaller than the full size but they will work with either of our new die cutting machines. This is one of them. You see, it's, uh, it's leaves all, uh, all across your paper, so you can add some great texture with that. And this is a, a top and bottom leaf sprays, so you could use this hole on your card, or you could cut it in half and just use a portion of it to put behind a stamped image or something of that nature. The designer series paper, as I said, is gorgeous. Oh. This is the designer series paper. These are all the different pieces. Um, lots of leaves. Some are uh, full of leaves. Some have a little more white in them. Uh, but there's just a whole bunch of choice there. And then on the flip side, you have uh, a little less color and uh, just some patterns so you if you're looking for some background texture for your card uh, there's lots of that to choose from in this package so it's uh, this is all I have left um, everything else has been cut up to bits so it's wonderful so let's move on to some of the projects that I made uh, here's a card that I made using primarily the designer series paper to show that off. Um, you'll notice I have my sentiment here stamped with uh, love and laughter forever and that is uh, mounted on some foil paper. You may recall in the stamp set uh, this was one of the sentiments but it says love and laughter forever after. I didn't, uh, I didn't want the full sentiment on my card, so I masked off the after. Actually, I cut it off. It can still be put back together for future stamping, but I figured I would use this sentiment more than with the after. So you can customize your stamps any way you want. Here's uh, another one, uh, Mint Macaron. Shaded Spruce and Pretty Peacock on this one, and I used um, an off-center wreath template to create this one using my Stamparatus. So uh, I had my stamps close to the center of it, so very heavy in the middle, 
and then just uh, a little less as you move out. This one has very little stamping. I used some of the die cuts uh, for this, so I cut out some of the different leaf fronds and one in foil, added a sentiment, quick and easy, uh, some designer series paper. Always a great card when you use designer series paper. This one, uh, you may not recognize this designer series paper, and that's because I made this one. So I just pulled out all my stamps and uh, started stamping away in different colors of green and created my own designer series paper. That's something I love to do, and uh, obviously uh, great results. Quick and easy and fun to make. Decided to uh, combine other products, uh, some old and some new. So this is the uh, birch stamp, the background stamp that we have. And I did this one all in black and white. Uh, my sentiment is from Peaceful Moments. And it just shows that, uh, you know, the stamps that you have in your stash are always good for pulling out and adding to some of the new products. And uh, you can create all different looks once again. Everything that is old is new again. <laughs> Here's another one uh, that I pulled out uh, some other products for. This designer series paper is from the In Good Taste designer series pack. And I used the um, Forever Blossoms uh, stamp and Cherry Blossom dies to cut that out. And I colored it with my watercolor pencil, something that I have sort of rediscovered recently and have am having lots of fun with those. This is the uh, metallic seaside spray ribbon that was in the uh, fall mini catalog last year and has continued on into the annual catalog. And I'm so happy to see that back. It's beautiful ribbon and will be lovely for uh, seasonal cards again this year. Decided to move away from the green a little er, bit. So although I do have lots of green on the front, I have used a magenta madness card base for this one. This is another one of our in colors. And you'll see here I have the uh, trim from the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. And I have to tell you, this uh, natural color ribbon is absolutely beautiful to work with. It's soft and easy to, to tie in a bow or a knot. And then you get a gold trim as well that you can use for to embellish your cards. The fun with this card is it's a fancy fold. So when you open it up, uh, lots more designer series paper inside to show off all the beautiful patterns that we have. And then I stamped uh, some small images for this and left one blank where you can write your message. This is a fun fold and uh, you'll find a tutorial for this on my blog. Another one, this uses a piece of the embossing folder. I mentioned that it was uh, a full length strip, but you can cut it in half. So I've used just one piece of it, one half of it. And I've combined that with uh, the Peacock Scallop Linen Ribbon uh, that is available in the annual catalog. And we had that last year when uh, Pretty Peacock first came out as one of the in colors. So this is the stripes from the designer series paper. So it just shows you how you can make uh, some great backgrounds with that paper as well. And my last card shows the other piece of uh, the, or the other embossing folder from the package. And that's the little uh, leaf stems uh, that are on that. Again, I have uh, stamped leaf images and cut them with the dies. This is the gold trim from the Forever Greenery pack. Uh, my sentiment, and this is the, uh, the ribbon that I mentioned. It is soft and beautiful. I just can't tell you how amazed I was when I first picked it up. It's like, oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> I also have a couple of 3D projects to share with you. Uh, here's a little box, got a hole in the top, 
Uh, I've decorated it with designer series paper on the sides. And if you're wondering exactly what the heck this is, uh, oh, little Winkestella too, just because there's nothing like a little shine in your day. Uh, but this is a fantastic little tool. Uh, and this holds your glue bottle. So that's, I have, uh, I've made a lot of these over the years that sits on your desk, holds your glue pointing down so that uh, your, your liquid glue is always ready to go. And it's fantastic. Easy to make, cute, and very functional. <laughs> and my last project is this uh, lovely little box. You can see it's quite a good size if you want to put uh, you know, some sort of a little gift, some little goodies in it. It is made with uh, cardstock for the base, and then I use designer series paper for the lid, and that just goes right on there like that. And then I embellished it with some of the die cuts. Again, I've uh, added some Wink of Stella to the ferns. This is the gold trim, and I've just unwound it so that it's very thin threads. These are the uh, gold faceted gems that we have in our annual catalog. And once again, that beautiful ribbon. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it ties into bows very easily. It's soft and wonderful, and you can just lay it on your project however you like. So that is a little tour of the Forever Greenery Suite. I hope you've enjoyed it and like the projects. Uh, I will be posting them on my blog over the course of the next little while. And tutorials for the, the fancy fold and uh, the box and that. If you're looking for any great ideas uh, for your stamping and creativity, I invite you to check out my blog and follow me. Great Stamping with Connie. That's it for today. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Happy stamping.